Hi loves and welcome to this channeled reading, channeled message. I'm Erica, I am a psychic medium and I'm an oracular priestess. It's so nice to meet you. If you are new here, welcome in my loves. Um, just very quickly, I'm gonna use some green amethyst to just clear, 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 clear. Okay, so just infusing a little love frequency here, some healing. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. It's so nice to meet you. Those of you guys returning, welcome back. Me, amores. Um, I am a healer. I am a high priestess. Um, and uh, that's why I do the clearing to clear the energy to help open up the heart chakra of whoever is turning tuning in, um, as well as my heart chakra. So we are, you know, vibrating at higher frequencies as we co-create this message together, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So, uh, anyways, um, quick announcement, you guys. One, one, one on the timer as I say this and look up. Quick announcement, and then we will go directly into the message, which you guys have already seen the title, so you guys kind of know what this is about. Um, yeah, there is some big shifts happening for who this is for. Anyways, my tarot lessons, I'm opening my tarot lessons, me on waters, I open them once a year. And if you're someone that starts working with me, um, like let's say I have my tarot lessons open for a few months. Usually I do this during the summertime. Like I said, I open them in June. Um, this is an immersive experience. Each lesson is very special, very unique. Um, I specifically tune in to who I'm working with. This is not just about learning the tarot, honestly. Like, it, it, you know, a seven-year-old, as long as you can read, you can learn the tarot. If you can memorize words, <laughs> you can learn the card meanings. You could, right? Okay, like being real. This is more immersive where this is about sharing, tuning in, channeling, connecting to your gifts, finding out what your gifts are, what the strengths of your gifts are, what are your, do you know what I mean? Um, connecting more to like your, um, your, 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 your light work and like how you're going to be utilizing your gifts with your light work. So there's a lot of stuff that we do together with these tarot lessons. And, um, it's also kind of like spiritual coaching, you know, it's tuning in with someone who understands, who gets it, um, you know, and I do a lot with you guys. So it's not just like, oh, this is what this card means. And this is right. It's not that like, yes, will you learn the tarot? Yes. Will you be reading and channeling when we're done very strongly? Yep, you will. Absolutely. Um, so I'll be posting and sharing about that either later today or tomorrow. I've just had a lot going on. You guys, it's just been so it's been a lot. It's been nonstop, just nonstop. Okay. For the past like five days, just one. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. <sighs> so, um, so thank you, my loves for, for bearing with me and all the things, right? Always. I tap my heart and I send you love and love, love. Okay. Um, so there's that. And if you are feeling like, you know, um, maybe you need some extra assistance or guidance, you know, from someone who, um, is you know a quantum healer or you know just a healer we'll just say healer right um all of my information my uh spiritual practices my options to connect with you one-on-one -on -one are all below in the description box um whether that's through a general psychic medium reading or a past life akashic reading those are my favorite to do they're so neat so cool and so healing and powerful um i offer a 20 minute vent sesh I have a 10 minute recorded reading that I can, um, that I do for people. If it's just like, you want just a real quick, right? Like I just need a couple like yes or no, or just what do you pick up on just real fast kind of a thing. Those are great. Um, and then I do offer a one hour, uh, one and a half to two hour, uh, healing session, which is intuitive energy healing. So just like my readings, just like everything that I do, I tune into you, your auric field, your chakras, um, your body, your vessel, your, your, your mental body, your emotional body. You know, I pick up on attachments. I pick up on, um, you know, if there's any like darkness around you, uh, entities or, um, you know, darker spirits or 
Um, or if, you know, it's the opposite of just like, you know, other things coming through, you know, helping to clear trauma blocks, um, subconscious blocks, subconscious fears, um, you know, blockages within the womb space or certain areas of the body, et cetera, from past life trauma, et cetera. So there's a lot that goes into it and I tune in for each person. So it's individual for each person. It's like tailor-made. Okay. So it's all there. I just, I don't know why I felt so called to talk about that right now. It's kind of crazy because if you are usually here with me, like I always will say like, you know, you can find, you know, services and things down below, but I don't ever really go that far into, you know, what these things are about. So I'm talking to someone or a group of you guys or many of you out there who are feeling called and I just kind of gave you guidance on maybe like maybe you were calling out to like, I need some guidance, right? And this is it. Okay. So anyways. So the divine masculine, okay, so divine feminines, I feel the divine feminines have been very tested uh, recently and recent past. I feel the divine feminines have also, you know, they're in a higher vibration. They're in this receiving mode. So I feel that the universe for many divine feminines has been dangling the carrot per se. The, the, I just saw 555. Five, five. Um, do you guys love my new lapis lazuli ring? It's so beautiful. I just love it so much. Um, lapis is actually like, I think, well, Lemurian clear quartz crystals is my favorite crystal. Um, and opal, my birthstone. I have fire opal that I always wear. Um, but I love, love, love lapis lazuli. I love it so much. So um, anyways, okay. I want to get a quick chakra card for the divine feminine, please, before we um, tune into the divine masculine. Because the divine masculine... You know, their life right now is um, aligning in a huge, huge, huge way. Um, I specifically put, like, my channel notes right here, you guys. I specifically put, like, stuck between a rock and a hard place. That was the first thing I heard was a rock and a hard place. And then I got the DM is seeing without the mask. And then I put seeing family, friends in a different light. And then you feel more and more like home as each minute, day, hour passes um, you feel more and more and more there's this like going back because it is like going back to self when you come back to self with self, but also when you come back to self with self and then you start coming back to the union self. Does that make sense? Like it just starts naturally more aligning where you feel magnetized called back. Okay. Cause a, a true divine counterpart, they will always like circle back through time. They'll circle back, circle back, circle back. Um, this is a true, beautiful alignment in a big way for a lot of you guys. Like, for a lot of you guys, this is more like the moment of truth. And I'm just going to be very real because I always am anyways. Um, this is not going to be like for everyone right this moment. Um, you know, I think that for many, many, many of you guys who find your way through here, through all space and time, whether it's 10 years from now or you're watching this today, I upload it. Um, there is a really beautiful alignment happening for you where you really have leveled up and you're not really maybe seeing it a whole lot yet, quite yet, I want to say, in your 3D reality. But you have to think of the three, okay, the way that I think of the 3D reality is like stale bread. Okay, it was once fresh at some point, but it took time for our 3D reality to materialize into the 3D, right? 5D as above, so below. So you've been doing all the things, Divine Feminine, and you've been rising, and you've been healing, and you've been going through all the shit storms, and you've been coming out back on top, and you've been conquering, and you've been going through dark nights of the soul, and you've hit rock bottom, and you had to pick yourself back up again. You had to get back up on that saddle of the horse each time you got bucked off the horse, right? Painful to be bucked off a horse like that, right? Well, now is your time. Now is this beautiful time. And, you know, for a lot of you guys, you have to really have faith in this because you don't physically see it. And that's the problem here is many people, they don't physically see it yet. So there's immediately, it's not here. When's it showing up? There's all this resistance that, get, that gets tied up in the energy of the flow of the manifestation. You have to trust me on mortars. You have to trust. Everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. No matter what's going on today, when you see this, what you've been through up to this point, you have to know that there are no coincidences. Things don't just happen by happenstance. It serves a greater purpose always for the highest and greatest good. 
Okay. So you're shining bright. I feel that the universe has been dangling carrots, meaning like there could be, or you will start maybe receiving people who show up in your DMs or ask you out or hit on you while you're, you know, standing in line at the grocery store or walking down an aisle in the grocery store. You know, someone come, oh, I'm just so sorry. I just had to come say hello to you. You know, you're just, oh my gosh, you know. Of course, the universe for many people is trying to um, usher in new soul connections, especially if there's like a divine masculine runner who's just not doing anything like they're resisting. Then, of course, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. So the universe is trying to bring in what it is that you truly deserve and what you're calling in, right? So you don't be closed down to everyone, but you use your spidey senses, you use your intuition and you read the room. Okay, you read the room immediately like what am i feeling from this person you know blah 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 use your discernment right but i'm telling you a lot of people are going to start showing up in your reality your 3d as tests like last little minute dangling the carrot from the universe and the universe is doing this because the universe it's like it's like are like did you really heal did you really learn the lesson or are you letting the fact that you've been single for a while or you have felt lonely for a while, get the better of you right now, and you're maybe entertaining someone or, you know, who is not on your level. We do not lower our vibration. The Empress does not go back into the, you know, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, or whatever. She doesn't go back down to Queen status to be with a king. No, she is in receiving mode. She knows her worth and her value to the utmost millionth degree. So she stands there, and she, or she sits there, we sit there, and we just keep emanating out that love that trust that faith and then what shows up the emperor okay so i and everything i say is so 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 powerful it's so 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 strong it's coming through it's coming through for you for a reason who's who's watching this who's tuning in because some of you guys have been entertaining people who are not at your level and they don't deserve to be in your energy Some of you guys have lowered your vibration to, to be around or hang out or date other people. We are not doing that. We are not doing that, okay? So the, going to the Divine Masculine, here we go. The DM, how is the DM feeling? What are they going through? What is this, like, what's happening here, right? Because Erica, I'm watching all these readings and it keeps saying, you know, even your readings, Erica. <laughs> You know, like there's communica communication or someone's coming in or whatever, right? But there's also been a lot of messages coming through like re in the recent past of confusion, of ego tripping them up, of fear, a lot of fear, a lot of fear. Fear around like what, they're, what they consider to be their mistakes, the ways that they feel defeated, the ways that they're going like, I, I screwed this up, I screwed this up, not just about you, but about a lot. This is about self-reflection and about wielding their pain into their power. We've been talking a lot about the alchemy, the alchemist, being that master alchemist, being the dark alchemist, where you don't shun your darkness and your shadow and the things that you feel like have been mistakes, you've done wrong, you're a loser, you're a screw up, you know, I should have done this, I should have done that, how stupid was I? All these things, like, not cool to, like, I mean, right, to like self-impose upon self, right? So this is about becoming the dark alchemist, diving in and befriending your inner demons, your shadow, your darkness, and going, this part of me is, is just as much of a part as me as my love and light and bubble side. This side does not mean more than this side, right? Yin and yang. Okay. So this is what you guys have been doing. You guys have also been reflecting this outwardly to the collective, to people around you. So maybe a lot of other people like are taking a look at their own shit <laughs> and their own shadow. Me for one, I just did a video a couple days ago about like being a shadow worker. You're an earth angel shadow worker. If this part resonates with you, I highly recommend going and checking out that video. It should be like a few videos down from this one. Um, but that, that message was so powerful because it was very elite and unique in the way that when I say that, what I mean by that is like the star seeds I was talking to had very like elite royalty status. Okay. Um, 
cosmic royalty, if you will, okay? And you've been royalty, like you're very powerful souls. Um, and that's what I'm getting here. So you have been someone like myself, where through lifetime, through your lifetime, you have triggered other people's darkness and their shadow. You've been the mirror to their shit, to, okay? So oftentimes when you close a karmic cycle or a lesson with, with someone or your, the, the contract that you have with this person was completed, usually it ends by them being very toxic to you, cold to you, dark to you, or right, things of that nature. And then it's like, okay, I gotta go. This is not okay with me, right? It's like been the same for the divine masculines for a lot of them, okay? So they they just don't understand that they've also triggered a lot of shadow energy. But more than that, their shadow has been so triggered by other people. But they've attracted a lot of darkness into their life. Okay, like they've gotten themselves into these like structures in life that are very dense and, and, and stiff and, and dark. So they are feeling right now like they've been in a rock and a hard place. Okay, this is about making very pivotal moves in their journey in their life. This is about a lot of deep inner work, like thinking. This is someone who's been doing a lot of thinking. Do I think that most of these divine masculines are out there journaling their shadow work and journaling that, you know, I got to do shadow work and release it with the full moon and this is my shadow and this is what I don't like. No, I don't. Some of them, sure, sure, for sure, maybe. But no, I don't. I think this is more them just taking a good hard look at the shit that they've done and the choices that they keep making and they're finally seeing with the mask off, the DM is seeing without the mask. They're seeing their family and friends in a different light, totally different light than they did a month ago, a few weeks ago, two months ago, a year ago, their whole life. They're seeing their father differently, their mothers differently. Maybe this is someone who's always held their mother on a pedestal, right? I've got the greatest mom. My, my mom always does everything for everyone. Basically, when people, yes, can mothers have very beautiful hearts and all the things? Absolutely. They're moms. Moms are freaking rock star superheroes, right? But here's the thing. A lot of people mistake those these certain types of things as, oh, they're so amazing and so kind. Really, what people are saying is, I idolize my mother so much because she's a people pleaser, a doormat. And we'll do whatever we want, whenever we want. You know, I can call my mom for anything. She'll be right there. That's different. But to, you know, so what I'm saying is there's a lot of dysfunctional, distorted ideals. Let's say I'm talking about a divine masculine who idolizes his mother. Right? Like mother, son. Right? Mother loves the son. Baby's the son. You're my pride and joy son. And then the, the son is, that's my mother. And. You know, she's the greatest woman in the world and she took care of, my, you know, took care of my dad and took care of, you know, my, me and my siblings and, you know, she's the nicest human being in the world when really what this, what this, what they're saying on so many levels, I'm not saying entirely, I'm saying on so many levels is they're talking about the generational curses and patterns. They're speaking about how their mother, like I just said, harbors a lot of dense energy. They haven't healed wounds of abandonment. So maybe they're seeking a lot of, you know, constant validation, you know, from their, from their husband, from other people, like, love me, love me, love me. Here, I'll do this for you. I'll do this for you. I will do all the things for all of you guys. Anything you need, I'm here. Um, even if I'm tired or depleted or sick or you know, not feeling up to it, I will do it hands down. That is not healthy, okay? And that is what many of these divine masculines, you know, um, a lot of them grew up, maybe an example for a lot of people, I know this for a fact, so I'm just gonna say this because it's coming through, is watching a very dysfunctional parent dynamic or marriage. Very, and this is the generational patterns and curses that many of us, right? This is what the matrix has conditioned. So it's like the father is the breadwinner and, and goes to work and provides the mortgage and all the bills and makes sure there's food on the table and clothes on the backs, right? Which is great. That's phenomenal. The masculine on so many levels truly is the uh, is this warrior, is this protector, is this doer, very action-oriented kind of energy, but also it has conditioned them to lack the feminine energy where they're just go, 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 do, 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 action, action, action. But when it comes to love... Many people, maybe you included or whoever's tuning into this, you did not maybe receive a very loving, affectionate side from your father because the father was very much in that 
ego distorted masculine and the inner feminine was completely shut down. So the mother was trying to carry all of the extra weight of being that nurturing, loving energy. Okay. But then, you know, and maybe in childhood that worked, you know, because you're very loving to your children, right? Like any good parent, very loving, very, right? But that's what I mean. There was a lot of, la there was a lot of, there was abandonment wounds around the father and not receiving, you know, love, uh, fatherly love in a lot of ways. It was all about, well, I pay the bills and I just want to enjoy my football game after work and everyone leave me alone and you take care of it and the kids don't bother me. It's like that, okay? And then the mother was like trying to like, scramble and hold all together but really it's like you know why was she doing that because the father's like checked out he thinks he's doing his job and that's her job right so there's so much distortion dysfunction patterning here and the reason why this is so important is because many of you guys when i say that the mask they're seeing without the mask and then i immediately say they're seeing their friends and family in a different light, you guys, I can't emphasize that enough and how strong it came through. And everything I just said about all of these patterns and distortions and seeing and this masculine is now seeing things very differently. Whereas before, maybe they thought, you know, my father is this great person, right? Not, I'm not saying otherwise. Many of them are. They're very good humans with good hearts and great people, but they have their own inner wounds and generational curses and patterns that have kept them very blocked in the heart space, even with their own family and children and wife, etc. So the divine masculine, maybe an example, is that I have the superhero dad, greatest dad in the world, number one dad, great, you know, all the world's number one dad, you know, world's greatest dad. But then as they started maybe getting older, they saw some red flags, maybe they saw some things, but still just not. Now, this person is seeing, you know, I'm hearing my dad's an asshole. So, you know, maybe that's what they're seeing now. They're going, wow, like I never really realized it this strongly until now that my dad is a jerk to my mom or that my dad was a jerk to us or me or, you know, that my dad really wasn't there. Yeah, a great provider, all these things, but emotionally, like, emotionally supportive like no you know maybe they grew up watching a bad temper and go all of a sudden wow like I didn't realize how distorted or how toxic or how not okay that temperament was you know I thought that's just what dads do they're very angry and they'll rah, rah, rah. they're the disciplinarian of the family per se right they're seeing this is all examples but this could all be very relevant in fact I know it is could even be relevant for you. I know it is for a lot of you guys and for this other person. Same thing with the mother wounds, okay? It's the same thing going, wow, like, yes, my mother is all these amazing things and just full of all these amazing qualities and all these things, you know? But now I'm seeing the dysfunctionality of, of it all. I'm seeing that, you know, that my mother had no voice, that my mother was kind of imprisoned, that my mother had no power, no say so when it came to bills or finances or this or that. You know, it was always ultimately the dad's choice, dad's decision, you know, could we go here with our friends, you know, for the weekend or have a sleepover? Ask your dad. Okay. And I'm getting a lot of that, a lot of that. <laughs> and that is a big part of the patriarchal rule systems that are being broken down, right? So this masculine, my whole point of all this and everything I've said is very important. So please, please, please take this into account. And if you're a masculine watching this, it's, you already know, um, divine feminines, you guys have been seeing through the family patterns. You've seen through the illusions of your own shit, your life, all the things. This is where you guys have been, right? We know this. Now the masculine is seeing it too. They're seeing it very big. And it's very difficult for them. That's why it's like a rock in a hard place because there's this new version of self that they are feeling aligned to. You feel like home more than ever. I even put that um, after like how they're seeing in friends and family. Like they're seeing the patterns. Like all me and my friends do like when we get together is we cuss and you know, there's a lot of maybe negative talk, maybe a lot of political talk or this or that or it's just, it just, it, it's just a negativity. You know, people that thrive off gossip or alcohol or you know, bad mouthing others. It's like, you know, they're seeing like all these things that they didn't see before. And they're going, this is not cool. Like, this is not how I want to live. And so it's very, 
it can feel very crazy and lonely though. Remember you guys, like those of you, and some of you guys like just, maybe you're going through this right now where you're starting to see, you've started seeing through the illusions of your life, your whole life, the only life you've known in this lifetime. You know, your parents, your family structures, you know, um, just everything. You're seeing a lot of it, right? They are too. And so it's very much like, okay, all of this is happening for a reason. And for some reason, all of this stuff, it circles back. They know that there's a connection with all of this stuff happening and you. This stuff isn't happening because of you. This stuff is be happening because they're going through their awakening. Their, their, their soul awakening that was, you know, that they were meant to go through. But you helped activate and you help hold the space. You have held the love frequency. You have risen up. You risen the vibration of your love connect, of your soul connection, excuse me. Okay, like... Everything that you do, your person picks up on. They feel, they sense. That's why right now, you guys, you're soaring, you're flying high, and they can feel that. They can feel that you're getting, you're about to meet someone, that you're about to be taken off the market for good. They feel that you're that you're going places in life, and soon you're going to get to a place where, right, it's almost they feel this, like my, my person's going to get to a place where they're going to be like, there's no going back to you. It's like that, okay? So anyways... I'm getting off track here. Okay, literally what I heard the masculine say was as each day passes, my memory of you never fades. As each day passes, my memory of you never fades. And you feel more and more like home to them as each day passes, hour, second, minute. And then I put painful alignment for DM, painful realizations. And that's exactly what's happening here for them. That's what they've been going through. If you guys wanna know what your person has been going through, what they've been feeling, what's happening, it's this, a lot of painful alignment. It's good alignment, but it's painful to go through. Painful endings, painful realizations, um, 3D reality, and then I put the dirt rises. It's the dirt rising to the surface. It's like people who like try to get away with like murder, right? Like, right? Try to get rid of the evidence, right? Throw it in a river or the ocean or something. Always surfaces, always surfaces. <laughs> the dirt is surfacing. The dirt is rising. All of the darkness, all of the shit, all of the muck. All of the old wounds that they didn't heal before in their life experiences, relationships. Um, there's a lot of relationship patterns, like specifically, like what I'm getting is like, because a lot of you guys tuning in, like you could be a DF watching Divine Feminine Energy, but you're a man. Okay, so like you're the DF only in this connection. Um, and I actually have a lot of masculines, divine masculines who have started watching the channel. And like the numbers have risen for personal clients. Like I love it because it just shows the masculine energies and how they're going through these beautiful awakenings and like alignment and like beautiful, beautiful divine masculines. Good looking, successful you know, in shape, muscular, or just they take care of themselves, they're self-loving, but they're also spiritual, <laughs> but they're also meditating, but they're also listening to law of attraction. They also are manifesting. They also are coming from the heart. It's beautiful. And that's where, so thank you for those of you guys who are out here because the DFs, like you guys have been here, right? Since day one, but the masculines have really come on board and it's just such confirmation of the alignment of divine union and just of the earth, right? Okay, so divine feminine, I know we're at 28 minutes already and um, I haven't pulled any cards, but honestly, I'm not a card reader. I use the cards as confirmation, as mediums for the message and divination but you guys know that I could just channel this whole thing with with nothing you know I would <laughs> you know I don't want to say prefer it but divine feminine your heart chakra okay so I want to get a chakra card for you guys before I dive into the masculine real quick but 
look at this. You cannot make this up. I just talked all about your beautiful energy that you're emanating out like this love frequency. So people are very drawn to you, but you're coming from a place of the heart and what your masculine, what the masculine is feeling from the feminine is this vibration here. Look at the heart chakra. You radiate warmth and sincerity. So right now, divine feminine, you are radiating warmth, sincerity, compassion, sensuality, sexual energy that is very powerful and sacred and divine. It's not like, you know, oh yeah, she's hot or he's hot. Yeah, they're hot. They're good looking. It's like stopping people dead in their tracks and them going, who is that? That's what I mean. So this is just a little confirmation here on the card. I love these affirmation um, chakra cards. If you guys want to screenshot it, but I am open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. A smile, a kind-hearted way of speaking, or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. You are uplifting so many people, whether you realize it or not. You also are emanating this beautiful love, warmth, um, uplifting energy to your masculine, which is also very inviting. It feels safe to them. There's a safe container here with you. Beautiful. Like I said, home. I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. And the masculine knows this. They know that they can come in and that you will hold space of care, of support, of listening, but you are not going to rescue them. And you're not going to rescue anybody. This is about, you know, digging ourselves out of our own shit, out of our own holes. Can we have divine support? Can we have soul trap support and friends and love and all the things? Yeah. Okay, but we're not here to rescue people. I nurture and I respect my relationships. And that's what the masculine knows about you too. You nurture your relationships. You're deep. You're meaningful. You come from love. Okay, and look at this. You cannot make it up. Bottom of the deck is another heart chakra. This is the masculine here. So you guys are both showing up today with the heart chakra. This is crazy. There is a huge, oh my God. Venus, um, oh my God, my mind is like going blank. There is a, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is it called? Something, the star or something. Anyways, it's Venus conjunct with the sun, which we know the sun is a star, okay? The planet of love, of love, is conjunct with the sun right now, okay? There is so much clarity, so much expansiveness here. There's this new, 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 new love, new vitality, new fresh energy, feeling powerful, feeling blissful, feeling, experiencing bliss and joy. It's also a lot of, for me, like openness and clarity happening for divine masculine energies in regards to love and relationships in love. Unconditional love. How is the masculine feeling towards the feminine right now? They're feeling unconditional love towards their divine feminine. They are seeing without the masks, they're seeing that yes, they can have love for their family. They love their family. They love their friends, but they are seeing maybe these people aren't the, the best for me, or I can only take so much of being around these people because they're very negative. There's, there's a lot of negativity. And for you, it's like, you're just this unconditional love. And that's what they feel towards you. I allow myself to be open. So this is the masculine. I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear of rejection. I give without expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. When I am loving to others, I am helping bring out the innate love within them so they also feel uplifted, worthy, and cared for. This is what they are going to be showing you. This is what's in their heart. Their heart chakra is flowing unconditional, activated, God source love for their divine feminine. Okay, which is helping them to move out of the state of fear of rejection, like this said. It also helps them to become more loving to themselves, you, and others. And they now have this knowing of, I have this innate love within me because my divine feminine has, has sparked it, has reawoken it. Where I want to give love in the way that I help my feminine and others feel uplifted, feel worthy and cared for. Like, isn't that beautiful? Because many of these masculines, they're takers. They're takers. 
they have not been there to uplift their partners. They have not been there to have this beautiful, balanced, divine reciprocity in love. And neither have you, feminine. But you guys have been much more aware of this and you've chosen to be single or celibate to, you know, have boundaries. Like you're not just gonna like, you don't just need like a warm body in bed with you to feel good about yourself, okay? That's what the masculines have been doing. They've been clinging to the warm bodies, okay? It's very superficial. Masculine says, I love myself the way I am, not the way I was or could be. And I extend this love to others. So they're becoming more present, starting to self-love in the present moment. Why am I trying to change myself for this person? Why am I trying to impress my parents or my family? Everything I do, I'm doing it for other people. I'm going to do things for me now. And they say that I love myself the way I am, not the way I was, okay? Or the way I could be. See, could be. They also know that you love them as is. You love them unconditionally, entirely, and completely. That's why they feel such warmth and sincerity. Your loving energy and presence in their life, it is sincere. It is genuine, and they know this. They know this. This is uh, this is crazy, you guys. Okay. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. Exactly. Wow. Okay. I love that you guys both got the heart chakra. So I want to just tune in a little bit. And I just want to get a, a message or, or two around their 3D environment. Um, like what's going on right now. If you guys want to get the tea, let's get the tea. Let's get the tea with Mystic Black Rose Oracle by Mystic Blue Moon Tarot on Etsy. I got this deck like right when I started this channel. And... um. So we just had our three year anniversary. So for three years, um, I just absolutely love it. I just, I don't know what it is. I just love it. Hold on a second, guys. I have to turn up my air or down my air. Okay. And I won't go for too much longer because I definitely don't want like a 50 <laughs> Actually, I don't care. I don't know why I care. Like, you know, less people watch when the videos are longer, but the ones that are meant to see the videos, if you guys are content creators, don't do your videos off of what, don't, don't place your art, your, your healing, your create, your creation, your soul, destined mission or path or whatever. Don't go. I've seen so many readers. I'm just like, oh my God, get real. Like, they're just, like, 8-minute, 10-minute, 11-minute videos. Like, oh, you know, and I'm like, this is crazy. And the reason why is because they don't get as many views. Um, but, you know, I'm always going to do what, <laughs> what I want to do and what feels right for me. So, anyways. I'd rather have quality than quantity. Always. I've always been that way. Quality over quantity. Always. With my friends, with just everything. Everything. Quality over quantity. And many people want quantity over quality. Okay? Um, and that's risky business there. Okay? Okay? All right. So here we go. Frozen. Okay. So if this masculine is... They're maybe feeling a bit frozen about, they've been feeling frozen, like just kind of like a deer in headlights about, uh, about you. Okay. About, you know, just everything. Um, but there's a frozen energy with them. So it's very cold in their 3d reality right now. If there is, a, if there's a karmic third party, then things are on ice. <laughs> things are very cold, very icy. Okay, I'm getting like skating on thin ice. Like it's just like, it's not, it's very uncomfortable walking on eggshells. You know, for some of them, they may live with this person. So it's like, we have to like live together and like see each other and like, you know, exist together in the same house until you find a place or I find a place or, you know, whatever the case is. Okay, but it's like, if they're with someone, they're not speaking to this person. It's on like not talking terms. It's very cold, very frozen. Okay, so 3D reality though, okay, so not taking action though, huh? 
proposals on the bottom of the deck. So in like, they've just been like very stuck. Okay, but I'm telling you right now that this ice is thawing, it's melting very quickly, very quickly as far as them feeling stuck about you. See, soulmates, the one, deep love, a spiritual connection and a life partner. Okay, I feel, okay, I'm getting freezing assets. That could be relevant for some of them. I don't know, I'm just getting freezing assets. Um, you are the one, you are this, you are the spiritual partner. You are the life partner. You are the deep love. Okay, this is about in their heart, there's so much heart expansion and just so much heart connectivity that that's what I mean, like where they've been frozen. So in their 3D, that it has, it's been, it's been ice cold, it's been frozen, they've been frozen, deer in headlights, like I said, but the heart chakra is, it's like they're, they're moving from the heart space, they're planning from the heart space, they're strategizing from the heart with the heart space. So it's about the things that they love okay faith there's a lot of faith around this person that they didn't have before there's there's a lot of spiritual faith happening here it would be like you know um a non-believer you know like um this is not the same as religion and stuff being spiritual obviously it's <laughs> not the same at all it's not something humans made up to like control each other it's it's just it's our soul it's it's god it's the soul right so they're feeling this God soul faith that they didn't have before. They're, they're, there's this belief of, so it'd be like a non-believer all of a sudden becoming a believer in the faith. It, you know, someone who never went to church, non-believer, all of a sudden gets pulled by the Holy Spirit and boom, they're in church service, right? That's what I'm getting here, okay? It really is like this come to Jesus moment where the faith, it's like, it's just, that's what they're riding on right now. That's what they're connecting to. That's why with the heart chakra, when you come from the heart, you're coming from the heart and the soul. Like there's no ego there. There's no, you know, disruptive energy as far as that stuff goes. It's very much like this has been frozen in time between me and this person. And I no longer want it to be frozen in time. I don't want to not talk to this person. You know, I don't want to not be speaking to this person. Okay. They want to show you, they want to bring an uplifting energy. They want to bring, they want you to know how much they love you, how worthy you are, you know, and you know that already, but they are feeling that they want to share these things to you. Okay. So I know we didn't get very many cards out here, you guys. Um, but I saw 42, 42, so that could be a sign, 42 or sinks. I split the deck, there's the world card. So immediately I got what I needed. This, this divine masculine is, the universe is showing up and the universe is saying that this masculine is completing some massive cycles in their life right now. You may not even believe it. Like you might even be like, there's no way this person left their wife or husband. There's no way that this person is going through an ending or is breaking up like you might be thinking this and I would suggest not doing that but it might just right the universe itself the world card is showing up and it's saying this person is completing a cycle to communicate with you there's something about coming together with you seeing you meeting up with you togetherness soul reunion right here three of cups it's also um communication you know talking gathering you know all of the things, but the universe itself is saying there is communication here. That's what this person is doing. They're cleaning and clearing a really big cycle in their life that has kept them frozen and stuck. A big uh, cattle trailer just, just drove by. So it's about forward movement and, and moving forward with all of the stuff that you are moving forward with, you know, your trailer of lessons per se. Three of Wands, yeah. It's someone who's going to catch the wave. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna take that jump. But I wanted to focus more on just them and what's happening in their life more than what their plan is towards the feminine. Okay, 
um, although their plan towards the feminine is apparent here. So this also shows me closing out maybe a third energy. Number three, completed, it's done. Okay, six of pentacles, yeah. It's about wanting to have a new cycle with divine feminine and in their life and what they want to give to versus no longer giving to what they've been giving to. Okay. <sighs> Temperance is on the bottom of the deck. A lot of healing is happening. A lot of heart healing. I mean, this is, wow, you guys, like, for who this is for. For some of you guys, I don't know why this is coming through the way that it is. Everyone's on different timelines. But there is a group of you that I feel will really strongly be coming into union around Lionsgate or like Virgo Libra season. Okay, so, you know, yeah, and then right as I say that, okay, look at, we have six, 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 look at, six of pentacles, six of, okay, there it is. What did I just say about the trailer? I said it's about taking all your lessons with you your trailer of lessons and moving forward. That's literally what I said. Then we get the six of swords, which is a card of moving forward with your lessons, with your, with your luggage, with your baggage, but you're moving away from the crazy chaos or whatever, and you're moving forward to calmer waters in your life. Six, 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 that's gonna be a number sync for you guys. No, it is not the devil and satanic, blah, blah, blah. Nothing to do with that. That was patriarchal rule, distorted a lot of the spiritual truths and the spiritual laws around numbers, around symbols, all kinds of stuff. Very, very, that's why it's all, it's very dark. That's why it's collapsing. So anyways, then we get the six of wands, which is a victory after a long battle. There it is, this masculine. There's a shift in what they give to and where they're giving their energy and time and money and resources to. They're moving forward from whatever they've been giving to. They're ready for a new cycle. They're closing out something big here, you guys. I'm telling you. For a lot of you guys, there is a big victory here. I mean big with the chariot. This is someone, an emperor who's coming forward. Cancerian energy here, okay? So this could happen. Gemini season, Cancer season, okay? Um, the next couple weeks, next two weeks, I feel is going to be very pivotal for a lot of you guys. Don't get over, don't, don't overindulge in the thinking and well i watched gypsy cowgirl tarot and she said they're coming in when are they coming in nope they didn't come in today nope they didn't come in today you have to trust hold on guys hello beloveds and welcome to your message i'm erica i am a psychic medium and an oracular priestess so if you are here for the first time welcome into the soul tribe of gypsy cowgirl tarot so just very quickly you guys um i have some the messages here, you guys have already seen the title, so you guys already kind of know maybe what this is about, right? Or why you're here. Um, if you connect with my energy, connect with the message, the vibe, all the things, you can find all of the info down below in the description box on how to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, to connect with my gifts, whether that's general, um, psychic, mediumship reading, Akashic past life reading. I do... Um, energetic healing sessions. There's all kinds of stuff, okay? So it's all there for you. Um, I am opening my tarot lessons. I typically open them up in June every year. So here we are. Um, so those of you guys who have been waiting for this, I am going to be sharing on the community page and going further. I will talk a little bit about it in the videos, but all of the information about the... Um, pricing, tarot bundles, etc. Um, will be, you know, in the description box once I post about this, um, which I said would probably be today or tomorrow. So anyways, okay, here we go. That, I think that's it. I think that's it for like the PSA, for Soul Tribe PSA, <laughs> okay? So um, I'm just getting very strongly for the Divine Masculine energy right now. Um, Divine feminines, like divine feminines have been going through, you know, some, some pretty, um, powerful initiations as well. There, the, the divine feminines have had a lot of tests as well. Um, what I'm getting is like last minute tests. It's like the universe is dangling the carrot. Have you really healed this wound? Have you really, 
um, or have you really, you know, learned this lesson? <clears throat> Some of you guys may have, you know, temptation, people coming to you, like, you know, who maybe like fit the mold in like a, you know, big way, but there's definitely certain things that are off or your intuition is saying, no, nope, this is not the one. This is not your person. This, you know, thank you next, right? So I do feel that Divine Feminine, you guys have been getting a lot of, you know, you guys are just like vibing high too. So you're getting a lot of, you're very magnetic. So there's a lot of like attention drawn to you. There's a lot of um, curiosity about you. You're very mysterious. It really is like the high priestess energy of Keeper of Secrets. Like <clears throat> people wonder about you, Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine wonders about you. They're very curious about you. They're very curious what you've, you know, like what you've been up to, what's going on, how are you doing, <clears throat> you know, are you, are you seeing someone? Um, but specifically what I got was the divine masculine is stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> okay. And the reason why I kind of chuckled there is, um, because it's like this like kind of it's not funny but it kind of is funny in the sense that like I'm just like seeing this masculine just kind of like <clears throat> I'm seeing a masculine just kind of like what the hell you know like what what what's happening here something's got to give okay and then I got the, the the DM is seeing without the mask okay so it's like the mask has come off they're seeing without that that mask of illusion and ego so they're starting to see the dynamics in their life, like very, very clearly, very vividly, um, very authentically for what they truly are. So a lot of them are starting to see their friends and family in a very different light, or they're just seeing certain traits or patterns within their friends and family. Like, you know, I notice when we get together, all we do is like, you know, um, you know, gossip or bad mouth people or, or or all we do is drink or we always have to drink when we get together. It's like that. And the more that they're seeing through all of this right now in such a powerful way, it's like the more you feel like home, the more you feel like that's where I belong because you are the authentic energy there for them. And, you know, and that's who they truly are, just like that's who you truly are. And that's like many humans really are, right? But with you, they've experienced that divinity. With you, they've experienced God. They've experienced, um, <clears throat> you know, that connection to God again and the soul. It's like, um, what I'm getting is like an electric fence. Like touching an electric fence, like it zaps you. Okay, it's like your energy was like this electric fence. It zapped this person. They felt like if they touched it, they'd be zapped. They were afraid of it. Um but you were this electricity, you were this like, you know, right? Like there was also this like, you know, there's been this like energetic barrier of like, you can't, you can't come this way, okay? Until you can pass through the fence without getting shocked, okay? Like you, you hit a certain vibration and then you no longer, you're immune to the shock, okay? <laughs> if you wanna say that. Um, and then I heard this masculine energy coming through and saying, as each day passes, my memory of you never fades. And then I got, this is a very painful alignment for the divine masculine. And it's painful realizations about their life, about people in their life, about the lives they've built. And they're seeing that a lot of the life that they have built for themselves and just right based off of their free will choices that they have really, they're not in a place they wanna be anymore. Or, you know, okay, so, um, and then I put the 3D reality with question marks because I want to pull on their 3D environment and the 3D, like what's going on around them right now, per se. Um, Divine Feminines, you guys could be going through a little bit of some shakeups, but there's just, I feel it's like, well, maybe what you guys have been going through, like I said, these final tests before the real deal comes in or before a real true divine counterpart is shown to you or before someone circles back and you reconcile. Um, is there like a huge reconciliation energy? Yeah, there is. 
I'm seeing pineapples in my mind's eye because the pineapple actually represents reconciliation, believe it or not. So if you're seeing pineapple references, uh, maybe you've been eating pineapples. Maybe you've been craving pineapples. I don't know. Okay, um, that, you know, if that's the case, it's probably because that's what your body is craving, vitamins, etc. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the camera this way. 